One of the uh, hot topics now seems to be uh, cholesterol. There seems to be a lot of confusion. I mean, it used to be we got to get that number as low as possible. Now cholesterol goes anywhere from, hey, it's not a bad thing to it is. What, where do we stand on that? Yeah, so, so LDL, so-called bad cholesterol in one's bloodstream, is the number one risk factor, perhaps the only necessary risk factor for our number one killer heart disease. If we, one can push LDL down. Um, to 50, 60, 70. That's extreme. That you have to have an incredibly healthy diet to do that. But if you can do that, well, one essentially is heart attack proof. I mean, those are the kind of diets that, that reverse heart disease. Um, and so, I mean, uh, I mean, so I mean, the one serum cholesterol, one's a cholesterol amount of cholesterol in one's blood is kind of the the, the number one predictor of you know, whether one is gonna die with the, the most common cause of death. Now having said that, a dietary cholesterol, uh, the relationship between dietary cholesterol and blood cholesterol is more complicated because your own body makes all the cholesterol you need. Cholesterol is critical, but your body makes all of it need. You don't have to actually take in any cholesterol. Um, but if you do take in any extra cholesterol, right, we make all the cholesterol we eat, all the animals we eat make all the cholesterol they eat, so if we eat them, then we get a little extra boost of cholesterol. It turns out there's kind of a plateau effect such that at high levels of cholesterol consumption, adding a little bit extra is not going to bump your, I mean, you're, it's already, your levels are so bad, it's not going to bump them any further. But people who are eating healthy, so people who are reducing their saturated fat and cholesterol consumption um, and, uh, and eating these healthier, more plant-based diets, for them, they're eating such low amounts of cholesterol that for them, adding a single egg can shoot their blood cholesterol up. Um, and so, so ironically, for the healthiest people, um, it's, it's, mo it's most critical. And for the unhealthy people, you know, adding a little extra fuel to the fire, the fire's raging so hot, it's not, you're not even gonna notice it. Um, but uh, for particularly, and so actually same thing with like alcohol consumption. If you have a really crappy diet, alcohol, because it decreases heart disease risk, um, actually improve your lifespan, but increases risk of cancer, decreases risk of one stroke, increases risk of the other type of stroke. Um, so, but if you eat healthy, alcohol actually doesn't seem to affect one's lifespan um, uh, overall. Um, uh, and so it kind of matters what one's baseline health is in terms of some of these questions. Mm -hmm.